Peach pie is one of the joys of summer. Having it canned up for you and ready, oh, that makes it even sweeter. Exactly, it takes all the prep work out of making pies and cobblers and all those mm -hmm. yummy treats. So Yum. we are canning peach pie filling today. Yes. Now we have already blanched our peaches. And so if you need to know how to blanch peaches, Go ahead and run over to our Canning Basics videos and go ahead and watch that video. In the meantime, we need to cut up four cups of peaches into one half inch slices. So we're going to do that by first putting our peaches in half, pulling out the pits, and then slicing them. Now these are freestone peaches. If you can find that kind of variety, that's what you want to ask for because it's going to be just so much easier. If it's not freestone, the pit tends to stick to the insides of it. Which just means that you're, they won't come apart as easily and when you go to cut your peaches, they might be a little bit more chunky or messy because it's harder to keep them looking nice. Let's see, we should be about halfway there. We're so a little more than halfway there. Yeah, we're quite a bit. More. Yeah. In fact, let's put one These were good sized away. peaches, yep. Alright. Let's see we're, where we're at. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're just a little... Yeah, we're a little over. A little over, yeah. Okay, here. We're going to put some in here, couple out. and I'll just give them to the kids. <laughs> or we'll eat them as a snack. <laughs> <right? laughs> Too many is never a problem. I'd say that's good. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. A couple more? Yeah. Right there, then. I think so. Okay. Let us just rinse our hands real quick. We'll be right back. Now that we have our peaches cut up, we want to keep them from turning brown. So we're going to add one tablespoon of salt to four cups of water. Then we're going to dump in these peaches that we just cut into chunks. Slice that. Come on out of there. There we go. And I'm just gonna give this a little stir just to kind of make sure they move around. And some of them, because of the way we slice them, they're sticking together. So this is just going to separate them. Like, see that right there? Separate those apart there and make sure that the salt water is able to touch all parts of these. Now we're just going to set these aside. Now that we have our peaches prepared, we can start to prepare our sauce. We should point out one more thing real quick. Mm -hmm. We already have a boiling pot of water right. back here. Right. So this is important. You need to start this at the beginning. So if you're watching this video and then going to do it again later, start this at the beginning. Um, put on a, a pot of water boiling because we're going to do, we've already blanched these, but we're going to blanch them again. We blanched them to remove the skins before we went and pitted them and cut them, but we're going to need to do another blanch partway through this process. And so have that coming to a boil in your background. So for our sauce, we're going to do one cup of sugar. And we need three tablespoons of clear gel. Two and three. Okay. Poof it out there. And one eighth of a teaspoon, also known as a dash of cinnamon. What's really good about adding this darker cinnamon right now is as we mix the sugar and the sugar gel, you'll be able to see everything disperse really well throughout there. Now the reason for combining all of these dry ingredients right now is so that when you add the water, the clear gel doesn't clump up. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to add three-fourths of a cup of water. We're going to mix this in to begin the mixing process. Then we're going to set it on the stove and heat it up. We want to cook this until it becomes thick. You'll notice that it's already pretty thick, yeah. so this is not going to be a long process at all. And 
there's very little in there. Just the three-fourths of a cup of water. Right. So you don't have a lot to heat up. And you can see our goal right now is to get this thickened up and have and have our water coming to a boil simultaneously. Because the mm -hmm. next step is going to take one minute each. And we want these That's to be right. going at the same time. Do it at the same time. Now we're at the point where this is nice and thick. It doesn't really take long, maybe three to five minutes max, but look how thick that is. When you stir it, it just kind of stays up where you put it. So super thick. At this point, we're going to add one fourth of a cup of lemon juice. A lot of times it seems like, how am I going to cook it more after I put the lemon juice in? But, I mean, really, it thins it out quite a bit. And now we want to bring it up to a boil for one minute, which is the same amount of time that we want to boil our peaches for when we blanch them. I'm just putting the temperature up a little bit and we'll get back to the boil. So if you take a look at this, there's bubbles that come up, but because it's so thick, it's not like your standard boil. So we're going to keep stirring this because we don't want it to burn and we're going to start our one minute timer and we're going to switch those peaches over. While we simultaneously, let's see if I can double pan this and help and not have it be let's too see. shaky. I think I can do it for you. So we need to drain that salt water out, switch them over for the blanching. I'm going to pause for a second <laughs> and stir my syrup. I'm not as helpful when I'm running cameras. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Most people are going to be canning on their own anyway. There we go. And so we've got the one minute going. I was about 30 seconds behind on that one, but that's okay. We'll just kind of come in here and show you what we have going on. Yeah. So it's getting really thick here. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it does. This is exactly what you want. So now this has been the full minute. I'm gonna take it off the heat. And we're just gonna to continue to let this go for another, I'm gonna go another 45 seconds just because it reduces the temperature a little bit. Right, and that water started. had been boiling. It had exactly. been, Exactly. Yeah. But because we put the cold peaches in there, mm -hmm. it of course stopped it. But you can hear it coming it's back out to the water. Oil, yeah. right? Okay, so now I haven't turned that burner on yet. I will after I get the peaches all transferred. You just want to drain some of that water off of them. This is a fabulous tool. There's multiple yeah. different things you can use, but this is my favorite one. You can use a colander if you want. Okay, and now you want to very gently fold those, fold in. those in. See if we can see beyond the steam. Right. Clogs up the camera lens quite a bit. And you can see that the juices from the peaches thin out that syrup a little bit. And don't be too rough with it or you're going to break down your peaches. Right, no. we don't want to do that. No, no. We like those peaches whole. Yeah, and this is still pretty warm. I'm going to give it just a second to heat up a little bit more as I just turned on the burner again. And we're going to gently stir it while we put on the timer for three more minutes. See how quickly it went back to a boil. Yeah, you can hear it as you're scraping it mm -hmm. on the pan there. Everything in here is hot already. 
Doesn't it look pretty though? It does. I made peach pie for my family last night because we've got, of course, a lot of peaches in the house right now. And one of my twins, he's 10, he told me, he said, oh yeah, I, uh, I'll i try it and can I tell you what's wrong with it? And I was <laughs> like, oh yeah, because I told him he was going to be my taste tester. And he tried it and he sat there thinking and thinking and thinking. He was <laughs> like, mom, I know what's wrong with it. And I said, okay, what? He said, you didn't make enough. <laughs> <laughs> I need seconds. <laughs> He's too cute. I, yeah, I thought that was pretty good feedback. So if that's the only complaint we get, then that's pretty darn good. Because our families are sometimes some pretty harsh critics on us as we write right? these recipes. Right. We're like, oh, I love this one. Or, uh, you should probably scratch that one and start <laughs> over. <laughs> Even my daughter, who doesn't tend to care for peaches very much, tried the peach pie, and she was like, oh, no, this is really good. Really? So, one of yeah. your girls don't li doesn't like peaches? Isn't that insane? Yeah. That's insane. Well, it's like my one of my sons doesn't like watermelon. Yeah, that's right. That is And insane. you're like, what child doesn't like watermelon? And the funny thing is, when he was little, he loved to spit watermelon seeds. So oh, Maybe it was just the seeds. I don't know. Yeah, he loved to like eat it and then spit those out and see how far he could get. Granted, he was like three. Right. right. <laughs> but what three-year-old doesn't love that? That's true. I know. Some some kids don't even know about that now because there's so many seedless. Oh, watermelons. seedless, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's really tempting oh, to stir pretty. it all the time because, well, because then you're doing something. But try to just give it a little bit of time to sit too so yeah. that you're not busting those up too much. You can see I busted them up a little bit, but not too bad enough. Right. It'll still be tasty. The color's really pretty on here. Yeah. Like your blue pot. Mm -hmm. Orangey of the peaches. And we are almost there. Whenever I can peaches, uh -huh. or I tell my husband I'm going to, you want to know what he does? What? He sings that song that. What it's either like Nirvana or Aerosmith oh, that peaches come in peaches. a can yeah. and put there by a man, right. <laughs> but he like put there by a woman. That's hilarious. In my, my husband, kitchen. <laughs> my husband sings that every time we put the peaches on the table. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the same thing. Every time we get them out, right. anything to do with canned peaches around the house, the husbands have to break out that song. No, that's pretty funny. You can tell they're the same age. Yeah. <laughs> We're both going to say the last right. ingredient. Right, right. We're going to put in one eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla. You don't want to put this in before you cook it or it'll burn off a lot of the vanilla flavor. Well, that little extra for good measure. So we don't, <laughs> everybody knows that half the time we don't even measure the vanilla. I was going to say when I made it yesterday, it was just like doop doop. <laughs> <laughs> and then again, you just kind of gently fold that in. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, I'm no, thinking really about this watering for like peach cobbler and peach pie. And I think we had a little leftover. Maybe we'll have to pull it out so I can let Emmeline try it when yeah. I can this. <laughs> or chances are by the end I'll be licking the spoon. Right, right. <laughs> you know I'm the one that does that. We need the tongs to pull out. We okay. do. So we're going to grab all the supplies that we need for the to next can this up. We've just pulled our jar out of our hot oven where we had it heating up at 250 degrees. Now this recipe does one quart worth, which is essentially one pie worth of filling, which is fabulous. But if you want to fill up your canner, then you just multiply it by seven or however many fits in your canner. I'm going to lift this and dump and let you... Perfect. Great. We're going to tag team this so that we don't have to even get the scooper out. I think that's a good idea. We need to scrape off all the goodies. And you want to leave one inch head space for your peach pie filling. So mm -hmm. one inch is the top of the, the head space means from the top of the food to the top of the jar. It needs to be one inch. And this is truly like one quart worth. Mm-hmm with one inch headspace. Right. <laughs> right. Like it's exactly on and is not a 
super forgiving recipe, so <laughs> it's right there. Right, right. Now, we're just gonna put on the lid. One of them, not two. And put our ring on to fingertip tight. And then we're going to place this jar into our boiling water bath counter. Now this one isn't full enough to go over the top of it, but we're gonna add some more jars. And once we add more jars, it'll go over. You want the water to go over the top anywhere from one to two inches. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to process it for 30 minutes. If you're at sea level, we're at 1200 feet. So we're gonna go for 35. If you're unsure how altitude affects your canning processing time, go ahead and check out our canning basics videos, as well as a tutorial or a learning refresher on how to use a water bath canner. We'll just have a little hot box right up here for you to link over to those. Guess what's in the microwave? I think it's the peach pie. Yeah. I guess you should be the one to guess. She already knows <laughs> what's in the microwave. We are pulling peach pie filling out of our water bath canner and Marie had some leftover from last night's recipe test mm -hmm. and we are going to try it because I have not eaten this one yet. I'm excited for you to try it. Yeah, I'm excited <laughs> too. I was going to send this one home with you Ooh, because I've got more peaches that I can eat. Oh, yum. She spoils me, guys. You guys know that, though. <laughs> Just let that evaporate off of there. Yeah. It's perfect. Doesn't that look great? Look how gooey and ooey mm -hmm. it is. Ooh, no. Yeah. It's like peaches floating in nectar. So oh, fabulous. Oh, look, it's turning here. Here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, One, you wanna go? One, two, three. <laughs> we love doing that. <laughs> oh, look, it ended at the, like, almost perfect oh. spot. <laughs> okay, just a second, few seconds longer, and we are going to taste this yumminess. In the meantime, if you'd like to click the subscribe button, we would love to have another subscriber. Mm -hmm. When this comes out, you're also going to see like the most perfect pie crust along it. Marie used our wonderful pie crust recipe. If you want to check that out, we'll put a link up here to it as well. But she used that recipe to make this wonderful pie. And one of the great things about that recipe is that you actually make anywhere from eight to 10 um, in bulk. double pie crust at the same time and then you freeze them and then so easy later. So if you have your canned pie filling and yeah. your frozen pie crust, you can have a pie so easy. Yeah. It's amazing. Zero to pie and nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it looks so good. I'm super excited. And look, I mean, I know it's already been cut and we like had to dig it out of the pan, but you can tell from the side how perfect that pie crust was. Yep, this is just what my kids left us. Doesn't it smell so good? It does <laughs> smell so good. In fact, I'm diving into the pie crust because really? I like having crust. With I do too. It's like you have to have the perfect ratio. Yeah. And then I'm scooping up those peaches. Okay, don't burn them. I don't know how hot it is. A little hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> we have it in the microwave a while. <laughs> Maybe I was a little ambitious. <laughs> I really wanted it warm. <laughs> taste dinner now it's <laughs> I can taste that bite I almost took it's super good my mouth is like put it in there put it in there it's so good but it is a little too warm right now how's it now mm-hmm good mm -hmm. hot <laughs> <laughs> I know I felt mine burning all the way down <laughs> wait for it to cool down <laughs> ready. <laughs> <laughs> this will probably be in the blooper section. <laughs> or something, yeah. Was it's it good absolutely though? delicious. Yeah. Don't burn your mouth <laughs> when you're trying to devour it, but it's absolutely delicious. Super good. Now, the only thing that I think would make this even better would ice be cream. a little bit of French vanilla ice cream. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to do another bite. <laughs> Smaller. So <laughs> that I don't burn my mouth. Sure, sure. I'm going to blow on it again. No, it's super good. I love it. 
Can you taste the flavors a little okay, better now? Okay, the flavor's a little better that time. <laughs> I'm not burning my mouth off. Right? That bite was a little cooler. I could roll it around a little bit. And uh -huh. yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. No, I think it's so good. Yeah. Like, the texture is perfect. The, mm -hmm. the flavor is just right spot on. Mm -hmm. And it's nice and gooey and moist. It doesn't feel like... The, the pie crust drew out too much out of the liquid, mm -hmm. which created a dry pie. Right. It's got a lot of the nice, I mean, it's a good ratio of the so. gooey ooey uh -huh. along with the peaches. No, I think this is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you give it a shot and enjoy it just as much as we did. Just make sure you don't burn your mouth. <laughs> okay.